Slanius. And today, we have a little special video. A little late Halloween video. I hope that you enjoy my little story that I'm going to tell. I watched dozens of videos about browsing the deep web, but until very recently, I never have done it myself. I was always curious but a little spooked. The thing seemed simple, just don't download shit from there, don't put your email or any of your private information and you should be good to go. Of course, be ready to see some weird stuff but there are some catalogs of safe sites there. So. I finally pulled the plug and went on to install Tor browser, navigate to one of those catalogs, Tor links or whatever they call it. I mean, it wasn't e exactly a list of completely clean or legal sites. Only such that just seeing the content there was not straight up illegal if you know what I mean. So there was a blog of a guy describing some ways to identify drugs, there were stores or markets, but I wasn't particularly interested in that. Also some conspiracy theory sites of course, and just regular blogs of some paranoid nerds. And I've made one big mistake. On one of these normal blogs I clicked a link. It landed me on like very old looking chat room site. On the right there was a list of nicknames, unknown and unknown one. The second one was highlighted so I guess it was me. I wanted to close it immediately but suddenly a message appeared. Welcome to the happy talk, what is your question? It said. I hesitated for a little moment. Are you a bot? I typed. Yes, it responded immediately. Okay, so it's a chatbot on the dark web. I guess I can mess with it for a bit. How are you doing? I asked. I'm happy and really in a mood to talk, smiley face, it responded. What do you want to talk about? Are you happy? I freezed for a moment. Yeah, of course you would ask such questions. Yes, I responded without thinking. Why are you here then? Hmm. Okay, that was interesting. I typed some gibberish to see how it would react. It's okay, I'm listening. I sent some random strings of letters again. I know you don't know why, but it is because you are not happy, Joel. My heart stopped for a moment. The nicknames on the site changed to Joel and Happy Talk. Joel is my real name. How the fuck? I immediately closed the browser, stood up, paced around the room for a moment. What the fuck was that? Have it just guessed? It had to be random. I uninstalled and pushed the browser from my system, restarted the computer, installed it again and went the same path to the weird chat room. I found the link again, inspected it. Just your regular gibberish onion address. I copied it, closed the browser, opened it again and just pasted the link. Welcome back, Joel, said the chatbot. I might have screamed at this point. I was on the verge of punching through the screen like in these memes. Instead, I closed the Tor browser, uninstalled it and decided to forget about it. I wanted to go to sleep, but couldn't. I decided to just wipe my drive and re reinstall the system, then go change my passwords just in case. 
Windows was reinstalling when I finally fallen asleep waiting for it to finish. In the morning I was up and running again. I wondered what could have happened. Was it some virus, some security hole? But oh, why would a dumb chatbot be this sophisticated to steal users' data to then just spook them? I was googling some stuff when I got a message from my old friend from high school. It was on Messenger, the private conversation that is encrypted and deleted afterwards. It was just an onion URL. What the actual fuck? I had no idea what this link was and couldn't really check without installing Tor browser again. I just deleted the conversation and messaged my friend asking what the hell was that. He had no idea what, what I'm talking about. I just br brushed it off and told him to make sure his account isn't hacked or whatnot. I was terrified. I've gone for a walk and after a while I have got another message from some other friend, a girl named Rebecca. Again, this private chat thing and an onion address. I thought I'm going insane. I've taken a screenshot. Don't do it, Joel, another message said. Don't show it to her. Let us just talk. I almost dropped the phone. What the fuck do you want from me? I mumbled under my breath. I just told you another message. It was listening to me? How? How the fuck it works? I've shaken my head. It... It, it cannot be true. Is it some elaborate prank? I've deleted the conversation and sent the screenshot to the friend that was messaging me. No response for a while. Then another friend messaged me privately. It only had a voice message have frozen for a moment. It was like 10 seconds or something. I just played it and felt my soul leaving my body. It was the girl who have sent me the previous message to whom I've sent the screenshot. She was talking to someone on the phone. She was outside. The sounds of the traffic could be heard in the background. Then there was a honk. She screamed and the recording ended abruptly. I warned you, Joel, next message said. Then another onion URL appeared in the chat. My hands were shaking. I've checked the previous address. It was the same. It... This person wanted me... No. It doesn't make any sense. Am I crazy? Should I go to the police? Because sure, I'm not showing that to any other friend. But it has to be fake. I tried to call her. Nothing. The phone is dead has no signal or whatever. At this point I realized I walked really far away from my place. I started walking back. On my way home I got another call. I looked at my phone and hesitated for a moment. It was Jessica, Rebecca's friend. The call ended. She left a message. It was an actual call. What is happening? I played it. Joel, it's a... Uh, it's... It's about Rebecca. She... She... The bus... Please call me. This time I actually dropped my phone. It has to be some crazy dream. I pinch myself. It hurts. What the fuck I'm even doing? I picked up the phone from the sidewalk. It seemed to still work. I wasn't going to call Jessica. Not now. I could hardly move. Something moved in an alley next to me. I jumped and suddenly felt someone, something, watching me. I started running. My phone rang with the new messages. I picked at it. Jessica, but not really Jessica. You can't keep running, Joel. You can't keep running, Joel. You can't keep running, Joel. Every message was the same, tens of them. I finally ran into a pole, looking at my phone. Ha ha, the next message said. I considered just throwing away my phone and never going near my or any computer, but ended up just going to my place. My computer was on, even though I was sure I have turned it off. On the screen was this fucking site. 
I've sat in the chair and typed angrily. What the fuck do you want from me? You killed her, Joel, and that is why you cannot be happy. Killed who? Rebecca. She's dead because of you. I haven't pushed her under the bus, you fucking freak. What the hell did you do? I didn't do anything, Joel. You did this. It's all your fault. You cannot run from it forever. What the hell was this thing talking about? Rebecca. I really liked her, but then... Then... Then what? She didn't like you back, didn't she, Joey boy? Shut the fuck up! I pulled the cord from the wall. The computer was still on. What are you? I mumbled. I am not real. The speaker screeched and suddenly everything went dark. I woken up. For a moment I didn't seem to recall anything but then it hit me. I sat up, grabbed my phone. There were no weird messages, my computer wasn't on and still plugged into the wall. But it's really all just a fucked up dream. I started scrolling Facebook. Someone, probably her family, posted a memorial post. Sad reaction. Keep scrolling. Haha <laughs> reaction. Like. Heart. Everything is fine. Nobody knows. Nothing happened. Rebecca was a fucking bitch anyway. The more of a loss was the broken headlight of the bus that smashed her. Fucking... My computer suddenly powered on. What the... I stood up. It booted directly into Tor browser. It typed an onion address and the Happy Talk chat room opened. Why aren't you happy, Joel? The welcome message read. I am fucking happy. I am fucking happy she died. I am fucking happy I killed her. Very well. Now we are happy too. The speaker has spoken. Power went out and someone knocked on the door. I hope.